Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness! In the last episode, we took on Lavrina in a very quick and easy rematch. She was no trouble at all, thanks to Voltaire and Mustache. Oh, I love the two of them. Anyway, in this episode, as we go deeper through Citadark Isle, we're gonna get Dodrio in on some action. Dodrio hasn't had a real fight yet, and it's been two videos, this is the second video since we obtained it. So let's get Dodrio in on some of that action. Alright, what do we got here? We got a scientist sleeping on the bed with some kind of hypnosis machine over his head. Doctor, generating bigger waves this way. Isn't it great? Um, just saying, I really, really hope he doesn't get startled in his sleep and wake up raising his head very quickly, because, ouch, that would hurt. I've done that before in my life. Ugh. Anyway, we head over here. A whirlpool is created when water currents collide. Try it when you're taking a bath. Okay. We've got good way... We, get, we got good waves going again today. From the island, it keeps others away. Isolated is how we want to stay. That rhymed. So yes, those waves, those currents, all those things are not natural occurrences. Cypher is creating those currents. Those rough weather conditions, all that, all generated by Cypher themselves. They didn't place their, they didn't place their base of operations here because it was tough to reach. They made it tough to reach. That is cool. We don't get to see too many kids here. Are you a child of one of our research people? We're responsible for keeping Citadark Isle ringed with vicious waves. Thanks to this place, it's not easy for ships to approach Citadark Isle. Does Varric just have a really good ship, or do they just turn it off whenever he approaches? I don't know which one it would be. Item! Five Ultra Balls! That is generous, man. I am a fan of that. What do you got to say? The researchers are honored and happy to serve Master Grief. Our research funding is more than generous, and it's incredibly fun to create giant waves. I know, man. I love just standing up and sitting down in my bathtub over and over again. It's a fun time. <laughs> uh, don't lie. You did that as a kid, too. And you still do it as an adult whenever you happen to take a bath on the rare chance. Three hyper potions! Oh, boy. That is great. Uh, I'm a big fan of that. Okay, what do you got? I'm going to change into my white lab outfit. So don't come in. Promise me, okay? Okay. I promise I won't peek. Take my word for it. <laughs> What do you got? We're right in the middle of putting the finishing touches on our Shadow Pokemon plan. We don't need your meddling. Litnar. That is a really awkward sounding name. I can't say anything more about it than it just sounding really, really awkward. We got Electrode and Misdreavus. <laughs> okay, I'm a fan of your Pokemon choices. Electrode's nice and fast. And Misdreavus, well, you know why I like Misdreavus. Because I got stupid lucky with it, of course. All right. Uh, Dodrio, uh, let's have you take out the Mysterious first and foremost. Um, oh god, I don't have a way of dealing with that Electro, do I? <laughs> well, um, here's hoping you don't get zapped. That's all I can say about that. Probably should have gone for the Shadow Blitz on that Electrode, but that Dodrio, while fast, is not outspeeding it. Okay, it's a good thing I attacked Mysterious. Uh, Light Screen, okay. I'm a fan of that. I'm okay with you doing that. That is no trouble at all. Gonna suck having my attacks nerfed on Jolteon from here on out, but oh well. Go for the Shadow Blitz. You know, Dodrio, you defeated a Mistrevis. That is more than I could say for any of our opponents in our first trek through Ori. I'll say that much. God, that Mistrevis should have. That Mistrevis. Mistrevis is not even that good of a Pokemon. I even admitted it myself. Yet, I just had such an easy time fighting anybody with it. It was amazing. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna soap. I'm gonna hope I keep getting like. I almost said I, so I hope I soap. I get lucky. <laughs> I soap. I get lucky. That's great. Okay, let's hope that we can not get zapped by that facade. Uh, okay, and on Volterra, no less. Interesting choice. I was worried that it was gonna have Thunderbolt, but maybe not. Go for the Shadow Blitz, and one more turn to do Claydol in. I'm getting a little bit of taste of my own medicine with Claydol being really defensive. Claydol flinches. Awesome. Okay, Shadow Blitz. I am a fan of you. You're getting flinches. Dodrio, you are definitely showing your usefulness. Let's finish this off. Bite that statue. As you would predict, biting statues is not very effective. Well, it was super effective, though, you know what I mean? Charge! Uh, well, that's an interesting move. His electric attacks next turn are going to be more powerful. I believe he can also stack those. So I get the feeling that he's going to try to do Dodrio in next turn, and I should switch out to Claydol. Or Jinzo, I should say. I'm referring to them by nickname. Okay. Kangaskhan! He is a Shadow Pokemon! This Kangaskhan has a really cool starting moveset. Earthquake is a default move. Can't argue against that no matter what type of Pokemon it is. As if all that wasn't enough, Kangaskhan is very much a jack of all trades. And pretty much everything but using special attacks 
it is at least halfway decent. So I can say plenty of good things about this Pokemon. It's not the greatest Pokemon in the world, but hey, good starting moveset, decent stats, really, really nice diversity because it's a normal type, of course. If you want it, go for it. Electrode flinches! Oh, wait. Wow, did I really think Shadow Blitz was doing the flinching there? I was using Bite. Duh. That was that was kind of cringeworthy, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, Shadow Rush. Good old fashioned Shadow Rush, of course. Alright, uh, we sh why should finish off Electrode this turn? I don't sound Southern at all, I sound more like Bill Clinton when I try to force it like that. Okay. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh good! 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 Charge it! Critical hit that I didn't even need, it's done. Alright, buddy, you're down to your last Pokemon. What are you sending out? Bayonet! A Shadow Bayonet. This is one of very few ghost types you can obtain. You had the chance to obtain Duskull earlier, and personally, I feel like Duskull is the better option because it's defensive and it hits hard. Bayonet's not as defensive, but it does hit harder. Not only that, but it comes with a spell tag item, so if you're looking to raise a ghost type of any kind, you might as well catch this Pokemon. Um, should be an excellent choice no matter what you're going for. Not only that, but you also have the fact that it's starting moves. Can't argue with Shadow Ball when it's a physical attacker. Can't really say anything else about it. It's a decent enough ghost type. I personally prefer the Duskull family that you could have caught earlier, but hey. Bayonet is here, it's fully evolved, and it's good to go. Wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. You guys are morons! Volterra's 13 HP! Why didn't you move in for the kill? Uh, not that I'm complaining, mind you. Dodrio is getting used as a tank, which is something I didn't think I would ever be saying in my life, but it is, because you guys are idiots. You guys are so stupid, you turned my Dodrio into a tank. How does that make you feel? Third attack in a row, they go for Dodrio. One, two, three. First ball. One, two, three. Also on the first ball. You know what the best part is? They attacked my Dodrio so many times. Voltaire never fainted in the time it took me to weaken and catch those guys. <laughs> Go Dodrio, man. You are good luck. You were bad luck in your first battle, though, but I'm convinced that you've gotten better. <laughs> the mirror radar lost signal. I don't know why. I just find that funny whenever that comes up. Okay. So, the amulet coin's good and all, but I think I'm going to give that to Billy Bob. Just because I think I want the experience share to go on Dodrio now. Because Billy Bob's caught up in levels, and I believe it would be better on Dodrio just so that whenever it gets purified, it will have more of an edge in battle. Okay. I need to go heal up. We are all healed up. Before we go on, what is over here? Uh, Zyberpia, the job of the research people is to conduct research, but that's not our job. To terrify people in the pits of despair with through battling, that is our purpose. With that clear vision, we are not about to lose. Great Grossen? Grossen. I'm convinced that Grossen stole this Absol from Absent outside. That's the only way he could ever have Absol absent from his team. Ooh, barely didn't one hit. I'll talk, no bite. That was really awkward. Two full restores! Okay, at least that was being guarded by somebody, so at least give Cyber points that they're improving, you know? Even though they're leaving out their good items, they're at least leaving guards near them so that, you know, they can guard them from us, I guess? Maybe they just don't want to not have them sitting there on the floor. I mean, trainer can't just walk over there and grab them. Whoa. Email. From Egan. Don Wu was siphoned. <laughs> that actually reminds me of something. Oh, another email. Down with Cypher. Dear Michael, hello, this is my first email. No, it's not. It's your second email. And you actually um, sent an email to Wes five years ago. I said, technically it's your third email. I'm sorry I sent an empty message by mistake. I also apologize for the misspellings. I'm embarrassed by the mistakes and what? Email text is cut off. Well, that is interesting. We're able to push this box here. 
And I guess it's interesting as well that, you know, he wasn't able to finish that message, though. Maybe we should go back and see what that's all about once Dodrio is ready for purification. I think that'd be kind of cool. All right. So, in this area, you have lava, lava everywhere and not a drop to drink. You get two revives. Wow. And you got to push these blocks around to block the flow of lava because, of course, pushing, uh, of course... Putting a block in front of a some lava just causes the lava on the other end of that block to evaporate magically. It's just like in Minecraft, really. Okay, so we push this down, and once again, it just magically makes all that lava... Oh, did it that time? No, it didn't. Okay. Did the first time. I was hoping it would again, but of course it doesn't. As soon as I'm making jokes about it, it's not going to cooperate with me. That's how things always go. Of course. Story of my life. <laughs> Story of every Let's Player's life, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Let's push that again. Yeah, it just makes all the lava magically evaporate just because there is a block near it. It really is basically Minecraft in that way. Okay. So, I can't do anything about that over there. At least not yet I can't. I gotta say, though, this is something that I wish that they would do, like, again. Like, these are really creative strength puzzles here. I mean, like... Just the fact that you're, like, clogging up the flow of lava. They could do that with water or something like that before you have surf, maybe. I don't know. It could be interesting. All right. Got another block all the way over here. This totally does not look man-made. Let's shove you down. Open up the way for us. And, if I'm not mistaken, magically evaporate more lava so that we can get that item down there. Only thing I think that can make this better is if I could jump. And just what is our mystery grand prize for clogging up all the lava in this area? Why, it is... Two white herbs. These are really cool items. White herbs are hold items. And basically, if your stats ever go down, it comes right back up again. Really useful if you got a Pokemon that has something along the lines of superpower that lowers your own stats whenever you use it. Really, really nice. Whoa, a lot of Pokemon are getting ready for purification. Okay. So... Whoa! Wasn't expecting you there. You're hanging tough in this magma hot heat. I thought I was gonna melt waiting. Where exactly were you hiding? Were you like hanging like from the stalagmites on the ceiling or something like that? Just, they're stalactites. I never know which one it is and it's odd though because science was like my favorite subject. How do I not know that? I aced my earth science class and I would have like called myself an idiot for not knowing that four years ago. That's what not being in high school does to you. All right, so Grupal was his name. Uh. Don't really have anything to say about them. I think it actually sounds kind of cool. Pull. <laughs> okay. Uh, in all seriousness, I'm going to go for the Shadow Blitz on Ninetales because it's more defensive. And we're going to go for the Water Pulse on Houndoom. Okay. I think it's a good move. Let's see how this goes. Boom! Didn't even come close to one hitting it, but I wasn't counting. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That Houndoom is fast. Uh, bite? Bite? Not a fight, not, not a fire type move? Not not solar beam? Bite? No argument here, but I'm very, very surprised. And I think I need to switch out of here, okay. Um Dodrio is not gonna survive another bite from that hand dude because his special attack freaking hurts. Uh we'll go Billy Bob. Yeah, I think Billy Bob. Jinzo is kind of my special wall, but or mixed wall rather though, but I don't really think it'd be able to stand up to that Houndoom. I'm gonna go for the Water Pulse there just because I don't think Ninetales is gonna hit that hard and I saw how little damage it did to it last time. Okay, so we'll throw up Billy Bob. I'm gonna hope that none of his team knows Solar Beam. Okay, Flamethrower. Uh, it's gonna do normal damage to both of them. Unfortunately, Billy Bob, whoa, that was a bad move, crap. I was thinking more about... Well, um, that was a really bad move. Critical hit, no less. Just adding salt to my wounds. <laughs> okay. Let's throw a Gadzooks. I don't think we battled with Zangoose since it was nicknamed, since the very battle that it was that I revealed its nickname in. So let's do that. Okay. Water pulse. Please, oh please, would you finish off Houndoom? No. Okay. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> Gonna go over the brick brick there, hopefully finish that off, and sure, why not? We'll do that. Okay. Boom! Okay. Didn't stand a chance. At least we got rid of the bulkier of those uh of those fire, fire flamethrowers. I almost said fire throwers. 
Okay, Vile Plume. Uh, I'm gonna bet you're the Solar Beamer of this team, meaning I gotta take you out soon. Crap. Uh, at least it won't be super effective at anything. Okay. Uh, we gotta destroy that Vile Plume and fast because it is going to totally target my um, mustache. <laughs> okay. Got an Ice Beam. Good. Let's hope this is enough. Crush Claw. Good. Now finish it up, please. Ninetales using Dig. That's not going to one-hit either of my Pokemon on the field. Not even close. Okay. Ninetales, a physical attacker. You are not, in case you didn't know. In... in I keep thinking he's going to do one thing. He doesn't do it. So I act accordingly, and he does the thing that I thought he was going to do the very next turn. So I'm going to say that Vile Plume is going to use Solar Beam next turn. That is what I have to say about that. Okay. Magmar. Magmar, the flaming butthead himself, he is a shadow Pokemon. Magmar is not one of the most stellar fire types out there for the traditional things that fire types do. It's decently fast, but what sets it apart from others is that it's a mixed attacker. It's not particularly good at special attacking over physical attacking. Both of its stats are very, very close. And its starting moveset is complementary of this. It has an excellent starting moveset. Fire Blast, Cross Chop, and Thunder Punch. I can't argue against it all for starting moves on this thing. If you're looking for a mixed attacker and there's a spot for a fire type in your team and you don't have either of those things by this point, by all means, this should fulfill your needs very nicely if that's what you're looking for. Oh, come on! The next Pokemon is Pinsir, which is yet another Shadow Pokemon. Pinsir, in my opinion, is a very underrated bug type Pokemon. There aren't a whole ton of good bug type Pokemon, but Pinsir is one that stands out. It has beefy physical defense, which while that's not really the better of the two defenses for bug types typically, it hits really freaking hard. It's not going to be winning any awards in terms of speed, so it's not really much of a sweeper, but it does hit hard and it can stand up to some physical moves quite nicely. That being said, Pinsir's starting moveset has got a one-hit KO move in it, and you have the Call Command, which is an X-Accuracy. That is a dangerous combination. If you want Pinsir, it's also very good at it's also very good at helping you snag Pokemon if you want False Swipe, and yeah. Uh, also worth noting is that Hypercutter, its ability, has not yet been nerfed. In Gen 5, Hypercutter was changed so that only your opponent trying to lower your attack stat is stopped. But here, it does not have that nerf. If there are any moves that take advantage of this that you can learn here, I will put them on screen right now. <laughs> okay, this might seem a little bit stupid to cut to though, but look at Dodri off on the side. One of the heads is like going, Aah! and like the other head is just looking at him like, what the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> I just thought that was a funny, like, just freeze frame right there. I just. I'm sorry, that made me laugh. I thought that was really, really funny. One, two, three, man. Pincer, I want to lay some words on you. As somebody who grew up in the 90s, with you being only obtainable in the Safari Zone or the Rocket Game Corner, and when nest balls didn't, and when net balls didn't exist, and all I could catch you in is Safari Balls, revenge is so sweet. I had to get that out of my system, sorry. It's just that, good god, I hated catching Pinsir as a kid. That was one that was just brutal and that every kid I knew was having trouble getting. Uh, all right, took care of him, got two more Shadow Pokemon. Next time on Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, we head in there. See you guys then.